Well, I like having CB for a friend because he's a former cop and he's got the best stories. We haven't had very many criminals come here since CB's been here in Plymouth Village. <laughs> well, Peter, when I first met him, I told him that he was probably one of the most intelligent people I've ever met. But I, I told him, I says, what I've got him beat at is common sense. <laughs> Wind speed five miles an hour from the west-northwest. And it's 68 degrees. Good air quality. We don't have a lot of similarities because he's on the go all the time. And we found the one thing that we both really like, no. ping pong. No. And we've hit it off. And that so, was uh, almost three years ago. Yeah. You know, for the first time, I kind of feel like an athlete. Ping pong definitely keeps your eyesight, your movement, your responses quicker, keeps the brain active. And uh, ping pong makes you feel young. <laughs> Eight, five. Wow. Nine, five. Ah. My husband and I were introduced by friends. And at first I thought, mm, I don't know, we'll see. Then we started going out, and he was just so easy to be with, and okay, he kisses really well, too. And a year and a half later, there we were, married. It was probably the best decision that we made moving here. After a, a couple of months, you're closer with people here than you are with some of your family members. Well, it's the idea of community. Yeah. We got a real good community here. Yeah. And most Americans don't have that idea of community. Uh, most of the time, you don't want to know your neighbors, uh, but in Plymouth Village, you have good neighbors. Well, there's all kinds of things going on here. I like being in ukulele groups and pickleball and Redlands Community Chorus. He does like to play ping pong almost every single day right after lunch. If we're not ready by 12.30, he's there to remind us. My husband Peter and his friend C.B. Stulen are going to be in the Senior Olympics in Fontana, California next Monday playing ping pong against all the other seniors in the Inland Empire, crossing that they win because they've been practicing a lot. <laughs> <laughs> I got to meet Mary Beth, his wife, and we had a lot of things in common. We're both readers. We really like a lot of the same books. I love to travel. Uh, I would like to go mostly to Europe. I would love to go to Italy. I'd love to go to Greece. CB doesn't like to travel as much as I do. He doesn't like the process, the work of getting there. And I feel good about being able to travel because I know CB's got the community here, and I don't have to worry about him. Men, when they retire, seem to cut themselves off from the world and they become lonesome and solitary. Peter didn't have a whole lot of activities in our small town of Barstow. Many of the men, when they retired, sat around their computer and didn't uh, get out much. So we decided we needed something to be more stimulating. And Redlands is very, underlined, very stimulating community. There's so many things to do here. Some people say it's overwhelming. We like it. CB's anxious to play extra ping pong this week. And plus, he's a little worried about what this Olympics game is going to be like on Monday. They want to be the best. Woo! Oh, it bothers him to no end, especially the bird calls. Woo We're pretty close to about the same skill level, and that makes it even more interesting. So, uh, so hey, we're gonna go up there and we're gonna we're gonna whip some ass there in Fontana at the Senior Olympics. This is the only Plymouth Village shirt we could find. We plan on wearing these when we're playing at the Senior Games. It's a uh, tell them we're from Plymouth Village. Yeah. So we're from Plymouth Village and proud of it. Yes. Yes. Very proud. <laughs> In the second half of life, you want to have win-win situations wherever you go. And every time we come out from playing ping pong, there'll be people out in the hallway and they'll say, so who won? And uh, sometimes it's, he'll win four games and I'll win one. And then the next day I'll win four games and he'll win one. So 
when they ask who won, I just say we did. Yeah. <laughs> That's all you can say. We won. Yeah.